Let's get musky. Hello everyone, welcome to Food Review UK. My name's MJ and today we are reviewing Lifesavers Musk. Now to people from South Africa this probably sounds extraordinarily normal. Extraordinarily ordinary. Um, but yeah, to, to places elsewhere, probably not as much. I, when I first saw this product, I was, I was like, what? Is that even food or is it like a fabric softener? Um, musk. I mean, it, it does, you know, musk is not a, not a common food term. You know, sometimes you do, um, you do say it. I mean, I, I think I might have used it to, when I did the, um, the 12 sodas of Christmas, if you've seen that video. Brilliant video, by the way. We got this um, 12 flavoured martini set and I mixed them, I mixed them with soda and um, one of them tasted like a dusty old warehouse and I think I might have said that that was musky. Anyway, um, yeah, but apparently it's common in, in South Africa. So I got it from Sansa, which is South Africa, New Zealand, Australia, that's what it stands for, sansa.co.uk. They sell foods from those regions. And I think this was pretty cheap actually, I don't think it was too bad. Lifesavers, a brand they have in America as well. Um, but yeah, what is this musk one? Oh my god. That is, that's, that smells of talcum powder. Like, honestly. Jesus. Okay, so I basically heard this is a flavour vaguely along the lines of like rose. Um, now I like violet, I like violet flavour things. Um, Judging from the smell, this smells like it sort of goes beyond that. It is musky. I cannot... Yeah, it, it does... The smell-wise, it does what it says. Oh, they look amazing. They look... Um, maybe a little thicker than Polo. But they, they certainly look like Polo. Look, do you see what I mean? Is that a little thicker than Polo? I think maybe it is. Um, but they feel exactly the same as Polo. So sort of compacted powder sort of sweet. And like I say, they smell... They, to be fair, they do actually smell. They do smell quite a bit of rose. So I, I, I am smelling like Turkish Delight. But there's there's a heavy whack of, of uh, talcum powder or like musky. Uh, just just bath. Bath products. Weird. Let's go again. Ooh. Bloody interesting. Hmm. Wow. That is certainly one of the strangest things I've probably ever reviewed on this channel. Um. Interesting. Really interesting. I like the texture actually. The texture is very sort of polo, so it's obviously hard. But it's kind of powdery. Um. I guess it's very smooth. Not a million miles away from like a refresher, a Barrett refresher. Flavour, there's definitely like notes of rose, but I think I can quite explicitly say it isn't rose. It's just it has a similar sort of floral taste, and it's more that more that elk than than violet. Um, but yes, yeah, the muskiness it is weird because that is. I mean, I only encounter that smell in like bath product bath bombs like and that is exactly what it tastes like but sweet it's sweet bath bomb flavor honestly that is very very weird um i don't hate it do i dislike it no i'm just sort of sort of indifferent to it i'm sort of fascinated by it hmm it's not bad. It's, it's very sweet, actually. That's weird. If you are from South Africa, please do let us know in the comments if you've got more stuff that's flavoured with musk. Is musk a common flavour? I can't even believe I'm saying it. Is musk a common flavour over there? What's next? Like, dust flavour or... Like, atmosphere flavour, I don't know. Um, mm. No, I definitely, I definitely don't love it. That's a fact. I don't love it. Maybe I don't dislike it, but it might just be a little bit too weird for me. I just don't think it tastes that great, because it is just bath bombs. Mm, but, positive side, 
never had anything like it. I've, I have literally never had anything like it. E even the closest thing, like rose or palm violet sweets, are not really that close to this. Um, I think I'm going to give it three stars. Three stars for being very unique, very different, and yeah, that's just weird. So I got it from Sansa. Uh, this is definitely a true eating experience, so if you like experiencing new things, uh, definitely pick it up, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Check out Theme Park Life, which is where we uh, you know, try and visit theme parks when uh, you know, approximately 25 theme park trips don't get cancelled in a single year. Um, but other than that, we just do day-to-day -day banter stuff. So today I made a cake, and I'm tidying my room a little bit as well. So, um, yeah, enjoy that, and uh, I'll... Enjoy finishing this off. See you later. Oh, I've forgotten how to YouTube. <laughs>